That's disgusting. Man. I love this shit. What's up guys? Welcome back to your favorite alien ass kicking show on YouTube. In this video we have something a little bit different for you. It has nothing to do with aliens or something like that. I made an exact copy of my left hand. Both of these hands are made out of synthetic ballistic gelatin. What's very special about this one, it has a skeleton underneath the skin and it has a vein. So we can pump the pressure pump filled with fake blood to make the blood flowing and hopefully this will work and let's start with the test. So for the first test we are using the pocket shot arrow against the synthetic ballistic gel hand without the skeleton. Hit. We have a hit but no penetration. So we do have a little bit of penetration but only a little scratch on the skin this synthetic ballistic gelatin is extremely resistant against any kind of weapon we've tested it over the years and we should use the CO2, CO2 gun so, at next we are using the Umarex EBOS CO2 MP. Let's try it out. Well, shit's over from. Again, some scratches on the skin, but no penetration. Interesting. Next up, the 22 long rifle. Here. So now we do have a entry and an exit wound, but you probably can shoot this hand for years. <laughs> Let's take a look at the exit. Look how small this is. And it seals up really good. There's not much blood pouring out. Awesome. Slow-mo looks pretty epic. <laughs> okay, let's check the damage. Where did I hit? Somewhere here. Thump. And... Do we have an exit wound? Yeah. And now we're using this machete from Cult of Atina. Let's do this. Holy shit. Check it out. 
check this out. <laughs> Look at this clean cut. And now it's starting to bleed. That's disgusting. Awesome. Again. I'm already covered in blood. <laughs> okay, let's check the damage. At first I noticed I get a lot of vibration while hitting the synthetic ballistic gel tin. And I did not expect this. Look how deep this went in. That's pretty, pretty nice. And it bleeds pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> That's my favorite word. <laughs> pretty nice. So let's try to chop this thing in half. And next, we are trying the cold steel katana machete. I think this will work a lot better because I can use both hands and I will go for down strike. <laughs> Hopefully we can chop this one off. <clears throat> okay. Holy cow! Let's check the damage. Look at this. Oh yes. I think with the next slice we can chop it in half. Find. Find the hand. Oh, it's so easy. Oh, look at this. Perfectly. Perfectly well served. What cannibal lector say? Oh shit! Look at this smooth cut. That's sick. What do you guys think? Should we chop it again? Let's try it at this spot. <laughs> Nothing happened. It was off. Huh? No. You were thinking nothing. I was thinking not really much happened but look at this look at this Boom. So, let's chop the hand in half and then on to this beauty let's chop this hand in half <laughs> Oh man, that looks so beautiful. And now, let's test the real stuff. Let's fill this hand with some blood. Can 
gonna see the bubbles. Oh yes. It burns really fine. We don't want too much pressure because I don't know if this seals up perfect. I filled it with epoxy resin to seal it up. Yeah, let's start with the 22 long rifle. Clear. The shot went in. On the ring finger. And we do know have an exit wound because there was a ricochet. Let's shoot it again. Oh, that's it. Check the damage. <laughs> Holy shit. Entry. Exit. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> it didn't go through because there is a piece of wood in the back. And we can see the lead bullet. Awesome. You even can see the wound channel. I don't know if you guys can see it. But if I hold it into the light, there it is. Ah, man, it's so good. That's so much fun. Let's shoot it again. I don't know if this low velocity round can make it through, but anyway, let's try it. Step back. So let's check the damage from the last four shots. Again, we have some lead here, stuck in here, in the skin. Oh yes, nice, pretty nice. Okay, it did not make it through the thick spot of the arm. Possibly we can find the bullet after we chop it, chopped it in half. Okay, let's position this right. Okay, first we're chopping some fingers off, and then we go for the middle of the hand to make the blood squirt all over the garden. That's sick. Can we find the fingers? It's like a knob and offen. It's raining fingers. There is one. And the neck. Oh, he only chopped two off. Damn.
almost exact the same spot. Uh, this one is... This one almost went through. Look at this. That's disgusting. I love this shit. You're gonna try to where the camera is shooting for you. Let's cut it again. Disgusting. <laughs> epic. You get it to me. <laughs> That's epic. <laughs> oh shit. Sorry. Okay guys, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so much fun cutting these synthetic ballistic gel tin arms that we made at home. This is only a prototype and we are working on a final version to sell it to you guys. In the meantime, please don't forget to check out Monster Target Shop. You can order the Xenomorph head right now and like, share, subscribe, write your opinions and suggestions in the comment section and we see you in the next one. Always remember, blades are sharp, they are not toys, especially cold steel made pretty sharp knives and swords. I cut myself and this is what it looks like.